Paul, Inventor 3. Really storming out. Weather's been crazy. I hope you can hear me, okay? There's a six foot long copper tube. Yeah, 15 minutes ago it was uh, 98 degrees and hot and sunny. Tell me the government's not doing something between Mark and uh, all these chemtrails. I don't remember when the last time was I had a normal summer. Anyhow, did I say that out loud? Uh, all right, we got our six foot long tube here. We're gonna demonstrate, uh, well, the magnetic fields interacting with the copper, creating eddy currents, in turn, creating opposing magnetic fields, uh, illustrating lens law. Okay, this has been really fascinating me. I've been doing a lot of experiments with this. I've done over 100 experiments already. All right, let me show you this. Uh, this pipe is six foot long. The ID of it is 0.686. The OD is 0.750. Uh, these, I'm gonna drop this magnet in there. This is 5 eighths diameter, or 0.625 by 1 eighth thick, or 0.125. Now let me show you here, let's climb up our ladder. Whoa, our ladder is uh, far enough away from the pipe that it should not be having any effect whatsoever. And let's get ready here. I hope my camera can get focused on it and you can see it. North facing up. It's got a very strange effect. It, 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 it helixes, it wobbles back and forth, and there's, it's very hard to see if there's any specific pattern with it. Okay, let me show you something else real quick. Another magnet here. This one now is same diameter, 0.625, 5 eighths, but it's a half inch thick, 0.500. For you metric people out there. Okay. Now, let me show you this. There we are. I'm gonna put this in south, facing up. Now notice, it'll slightly drag on two points, it'll slightly cock in there. Cock sideways, like that. It'll slightly drag. Get over there. I hope to God you can see this or it's turning out. I, don't, I have a feeling my camera is not focused on it. I hope I stick it right inside there. Now let me show you one more time. Woo -hoo -hoo! Okay. <laughs> There's a uh, north facing up. Now notice we drop north in. Ready? One, two, three, go. It will stay centered. Still dropping, still dropping. Let me show you here. Whoa, 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 back up, back up, get there. Still going, still going, still going, still falling. Still falling. Still falling. Still going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. Still going. Still. Still. Still stuck. Ah, oh, son of a. What the? At the very, very, very end of course. Alright, let's show you one more time. Well, what the heck is stuck to on the very, very end there? 
Alright. North again. God, why does this always happen when I'm filming? Goes. Still. Still falling. Oh, there we go. Now it's clear. Still falling. Still falling. Still falling. See how it stays centered. There it goes. Just fall out. Now, if you watch on your video, you'll see that should be about 20 seconds to fall. Woo! Six feet through that copper tube. Okay, let me tell you real quick. I've tried all different magnets, hematites, spherical. Let me show you this half inch diameter sphere. It's quite interesting because it has more clearance in there. Half inch inch, uh, a half an inch uh, for you metric people again, that's 0. 0.500. There we go. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Falls through much faster, but it's helixes. It's already just dropped out. Falls much faster at helixes, so I need to get a fluorescent dot on here so that I can really see exactly how it is spinning. It is turning over and twisting. Uh, it is like true anti-gravity in there. If you put a slight spin on something, it will continue that spin all the way through, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, so I got all different, oh, there's an inch and a half diameter. That's a nice one. Very strong. I'd like to try some of these donut ones. They helix down, almost having the same action as a coin would if you were to spin it on edge. As that coin runs out of energy, that wobbling, uh, helixing, that's what type of effect those have. Uh, I'm going to try one of these going down a tube and also put a small tube through the center. See how that works. Uh, boy, these are really powerful. I just had a friend, like, not even get a blood blister from it. It just smashed their skin wide open. It's very, very, very difficult to separate two of these. Uh, let's see. Anyhow, I use, uh, I got my, there's a hematite magnet. I use my magnetic viewing. That drops through like a rock. If the magnetic field went the other way around it, I think we'd have an interesting effect. Uh, here's another magnet, north and south, side to side. It, uh, it falls like a rock. There's another one. This one has north in the center, south on the outside. Falls like a rock. Okay, so these have been the best result. The closer you stay to the wall of the copper, I've also tried aluminum tube. Uh, it also has the effect, but the effect is not as great. So I'm just not going to work with it. Uh, now, if you saw from the video, I hope you were able to see it okay. I'm going to show this one more time as I keep talking. Let me show you with south side up again how it drags. Let's see if I can't just get a little more clear picture here. Like I said, I've already done hundreds of experiments. It slightly drags. It slightly cocks. So if somebody has an idea as to why it floats perfectly centered with north facing up, the only thing I can come up with is because we're on the north side of the hemisphere. Uh, oh, I'm running out of time again. Uh, all right, so this is it for now. I've already done more experiments. This takes about 20 seconds to fall six feet. Now, I've already gotten it up to 30 seconds, then up to 40, and up to 50. So if you want to see how I got it up to 50 seconds, watch the next video. I'll see you next time.